Hello guys, Lifehackster here and today we are going to talk about wired security cameras. And there are different types and this can be confusing. And the trend nowadays and becoming popular are cameras that are plugged in for power but still using wireless Wi-Fi for data. We will talk about them and also the true wired NVR systems and see which setup would be a better option for you. Before diving in, I'll tell you first that for your cameras to be able to notify you on your phone of motion detection and also be able to access and view the camera remotely, it has to connect to the internet. And there are two ways to do this. Some cameras will connect wirelessly using your home Wi-Fi and others are wired or plugged in using an ethernet cable directly connecting to your router or home network. There is also how the cameras are powered. Battery power, which will always use wireless Wi-Fi connection for data. And we will also have the wired or cameras that needs to be plugged in for power. And the first thing to know about wired or plugged in cameras is that they are better than any of the battery powered cameras. Even the most expensive battery camera will be outperformed by the cheapest plug-in camera. And this is mainly for two reasons. Wired cameras, because they are always on, they use camera-based or what the camera sees for motion detection. And when used in conjunction with AI, person, pet, vehicle detection, you have a pretty reliable system. And also because of this, it can detect farther than a battery-powered camera. And the other reason is, most wired or plug-in cameras have an option to record 24-7, which battery cameras cannot do. I made a video a week ago titled 7 Things You Need to Know About Battery-Powered Wireless Security Cameras and I will link that video in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. And watch it after you watch this video. This video is the second part and this time we will talk about wired cameras and what are the different types that you need to know. First, we have what I call hybrid cameras, and these are technically wireless cameras, but needs to be wired in or plugged in for power, and uses Wi-Fi for data, meaning it uses Wi-Fi for you to be able to access the camera, and it needs to be set up to your home Wi-Fi. Examples of these are the Wise Cams, Ring cameras if you wired in for power, or any of the wired in floodlight cameras. Same thing with Yuffie's outdoor cam and probably all plug-in Wi-Fi indoor cameras. I also have the Lorex 4K wired in, Nest cameras if you plug it in. We also have the Yuffie E330 Professional and it's probably the one that prompted me to make this video. I also saw that Reolink is making their version of it. Next, we have these Wi-Fi cameras and I'll call these hybrid of a hybrid. We have the Tapo plug-in cams like their Color Pro, their C320WS, EasyVis plug-in cameras, the Reolink TrackMix Wi-Fi, and the Duo 2 Wi-Fi, to name a few. These need to be plugged in for power and have antennas for Wi-Fi, but they have an Ethernet port in their wiring. And this is because you can set this up to connect to your Wi-Fi, but you can also choose to connect this directly to your network or router using an Ethernet cable. You can only do one or the other though. Now to make it more confusing, these are not PoE or Power over Ethernet cameras. And these are the cameras here, and what I call true wired cameras. They cannot connect to Wi-Fi. They can only be plugged in. And one advantage of PoE or power over Ethernet compared to Wi-Fi cameras that have an Ethernet port is that with a PoE injector or PoE switch, you can power up the camera and also send and receive video data just using the Ethernet cable. Just one connection. And you don't have to use this barrel port to power up the camera. With a Wi-Fi camera that has an Ethernet port, you still need to power this separately and cannot be powered by the PoE injector or switch. A PoE switch is basically a network switch that also provides power to devices you connect to it. Now, most PoE cameras have an option to store recorded footage to a microSD card inserted on the camera itself. But because they are connected to your network, you can have a computer run the brand software or aftermarket software like the Blue Iris so that you can view and store the camera recordings to the computer's hard drive. But I think the easiest and the cheapest setup would be NVRs, network video recorders. So these PoE cameras can also be plugged in directly to the back of compatible NVRs. And this is where their recorded footage are stored. And they can power the cameras also like a PoE switch. And you only need one Ethernet cable going to the camera. And you can just add a monitor by plugging it via HDMI at the back and a mouse in one of the USB ports. And now you will have a self-contained security camera system. 
No issues with anybody hacking because it is not connected to your network or worry about someone on the other side of the globe watching your cameras. The downsides are you're not able to access the cameras remotely or on your phone and you will not get any notifications. And if you want to have these features, then you need to plug in the NVR to your network for internet access and add it to the app or whatever brand of NVR and cameras you are using. So these are the different types of wired security cameras and there's a lot to choose from. But the main disadvantage of a wired setup is how to route the wiring. And a lot of you will say somebody can just unplug or cut the camera's wiring and most of us will also not have a lot of power outlets outside. Now, if you have attic access, the better way is to use low voltage wiring like ethernet cables or 12 volt extension wiring or USB extension cables to power up your cameras and hide them in your ceiling or in your wall. There are also outdoor Wi-Fi cameras like the Wise Cams, Eufy Outdoor and Ring cameras to name a few that are powered by USB. And if there's no power outlet nearby, a good option is to tap power from your existing light fixture using a USB bulb socket. But a better and a cleaner looking install, especially if you have a junction box, would be looking into floodlight cameras. And like with the Wise floodlight cam, there is even an additional USB port to power up an additional camera. Ring also has a hardware kit for their Spotlight Cam Plus and Pro versions, so there are no wires showing and nothing to unplug or cut. By the way, if you have an older, well, older tech analog DVR and camera system, you already have these 12 volt power wiring, which are usually mated with the BNC cables, which is what analog cameras use. And you can easily replace these cameras with Wi Fi cams that are 12 volt powered. And if you don't have any power supply, you can use this 12 volt power adapter that can power up to 9 cameras with just one plug in. And I will link these products down below. But the best wiring to set up your wired cameras would be Ethernet or network wiring because you can eventually upgrade to PoE or NVR cameras if you don't use them yet, which is still the best wired security camera setup. And that is why businesses, your banks, and casinos are using them instead of Wi-Fi cameras. Also dropping a Cat5e or Cat6 network cable in the outside corners of your house is a one-time investment. Either you hire someone to do it or do it yourself, but it will only be done one time. You can reuse the wiring with different camera brands that uses PoE, but can also power even Wi-Fi or USB powered cameras as well. You just need to add a PoE splitter on the camera side and a PoE switch or injector on the other end. And I'll demo several types of cameras here. Let's start with the Eufy E330 Professional. This is a Wi-Fi only camera and needs to be plugged in. Now I really wish that Eufy added an ethernet port here so that we can hardwire it to our network by using this type of PoE splitter which has a 12 volt plug to power them up. And if it has an ethernet port, this now can be set up as a PoE camera. But unfortunately, Eufy didn't add it. So just plug in the other end to a PoE switch or a PoE injector. And in the case of Eufy, the switch doesn't need to be plugged into your network. You will just use it to power up the camera. Now, the only thing about this PoE splitter is its size. And most of them are this big or bigger. If you want to hide it in your ceiling, you have to make a bigger hole or make a square notch or place this in a weather protected box like this. But I found this type of PoE splitter design which is just a tad bigger to a regular ethernet port on standard network cameras. You just need to make a hole a little bit bigger to about an inch and you can easily push this into your ceiling or wall and screw in the camera and it is a clean looking install. Now another example here is my Tapo Color Pro which is Wi-Fi based but it can be connected directly to your network and with a PoE splitter it becomes a PoE camera. Just a disclaimer, Tapo is the only one that I know of that is powering their wired Wi-Fi cameras with 9 volts DC. But I'm able to power this up with 12 volts. And when I reset it, I can choose wired connection instead of Wi-Fi. There are a few PoE splitters that have a multi-volt output if you don't want to risk your Tapo cams. They're just a bit bigger and you will need a box to protect them from the elements. 
Lastly, we also have a USB PoE splitters like this one, and it will have a 5 volt USB output to power up your USB powered cameras like the Wise Cams, Ring, Nest, UV Outdoor, and many more. Anyways, hopefully you learned something or two about wired security cameras and have some idea how to power them up. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.